Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, where we've got some incredible action to talk to you about here in Southern California and Northern Baja. Incredible yellowtail action, white sea bass, the big bluefin are back with us. Did they bite last night? Great news on that. And so much more, including a nice big halibut just taken in the surf by John Garma. Before we get going, however, I want to thank Mia and her brother Brody, two really special people to me, Albert Ponce and Crystal, their parents, and they made me these beautiful masterpieces, works of art that mean so much to yours truly. That is Mia's creation, her masterpiece. And here's Brody's, Brody, Mia, you guys are number one. I really can't thank you enough. You know what time it is, everybody. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Mm. You know, all the great support I get, not only from me and Brody and her parents, but all of you, means so much to me. If you don't mind, hit that like button. It really helps us a lot here at Freedman Adventures. Share these videos with a friend. Please subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel and check that little bell because you'll be notified when there is new content. And there'll be a lot of new content here today. You can also catch us on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, and also Apple Podcasts, where we get thousands upon thousands of views on all those venues also. I can't thank you enough for being here for another day, and it's great spending time with you. Thanks for making time to be with all of us. All right, let's get into it. We'll go south of the border and start things off down there in the beautiful city of Ensenada. You know, Sean Morgan, the guy that gets boats confused down there in Ensenada, he dropped by a burger place in Ensenada. He said it was really good, so here's his restaurant review to start off. I'll be back with the fishing action in one moment. Hey, Philip, we found another hot spot here. Burgers and ribs. They serve, of course, burgers and ribs and hot dogs. That's a nice place to have a cocktail and some beer. People are out for the night on the main street eating desserts, nice fine establishments. They're having a good time in Ensenada. So come on down, enjoy the fun. There's just not fishing here. There's fine, great places to eat, especially at this hour at 9.30. So come on in, everybody. Have a cocktail, burgers, and ribs. All right, John Morgan doing his best out there to bring you the very latest and greatest in food in Ensenada. Hey, there's some awfully good fishing going on in Ensenada. And if it's a preview of things to come for Southern California, this bite is going to continue deep into summer and push into the fall. Locally, we have really good barracuda fishing down there with bonita and calico bass and sand bass mixed up with it. And the yellows get up under the birds and chase all around Ensenada right now. If you're lucky enough to find one of those bird schools, you're going to fire a surface iron on it, take a couple of wines, and hopefully you'll be onto a nice yellowtail. It's for reals sport fishing with Louis Prieto. My dear friend's been doing great this season. I highly recommend you go with him. Also, our dear friends over there at Blackfin Sport Fishing doing a great job. And, of course, both these Juanitos. Paulina's going to be in the USA at the end of August, and you'll get to meet her. I'll tell you where and how. It's going to be a lot of fun to have her here. Really good fishing inshore in Ensenada and plenty of rockfish around. Also, you get offshore, and the kelps are holding yellowtail. you got to find that right kelp, Patty. But the same can be said for boats fishing out of San Diego right now. Or you got to find that right school of bluefin tuna. It seems like every day is different. One day it's just wide open fishing, and the next day it's very, very tough. So there's no consistency. But in most cases, you can pick off some yellowtail. An occasional Dorado, we're starting to see more and more of that move into the Ensenada area where it got our fingers crossed for some yellowfin tuna in greater numbers to move in. There's been a few picked here and there. And, of course, if you find some bluefin tuna, the trolled Mad Mac lures seem to be the preferred method down there in Ensenada. Outstanding fishing for our friends south of the border. Good stuff. And, Sean, find another good place to eat. I'm going to check that place out myself. I've never 
even seen that place. So good stuff down there south of the border. Let's talk long range fishing because it's been outstanding. Boats that are fishing those eight day trips down the Baja coast have been cranking on the fish and doing so good. The American Angler yesterday with great yellowtail action. I mean, nice big yellows. A lot of these guys fishing on Lijos rocks right now. And some of these bites take place in the dark at night, proper loop fishing. There's been great daytime fishing, however, also. And on the Royal Polaris, they had fantastic yellowtail action, fishing about four, 500 miles down the Baja coast. The weather's been pristine, and the yellowtail action has been hot and heavy. Royal Polaris doing a great job, as always. And you know, there's Wahoo down there in that neck of the woods, the Intrepid, had some great wahoo fishing. The Independence is headed back down there. They've had some great fishing going on on wahoo and yellowtail. And of course, yellowfin tuna. It's been flat fantastic on the long range scene. As you can see, the Royal Polaris putting the wood to the yellowtail. Long range fishing right now for the boys down below has been absolutely fantastic. Let's bring you up. And let's talk big bluefin tuna because they are biting. And not only for San Diego based landings, but we got them up here in the LA Orange County area. Anybody who wants to go out and give that a try can definitely do it. The El Dorado's running reverse day and a half trips, trips that leave in the morning to optimize fishing time at night because that's when they bite best is at night. El Dorado will be going here very, very soon. The Royal Star, they had some weather. Everybody had some weather. It's a little breezy, a little sporty. A little nautical out there right now. But the bluefin are starting to bite, and it's looking better and better and better, as you can see on the Royal Stars deck. They had 20 fish last night, 60 to 180-pound fish. The Ranger 85 had 20 fish, 150 pounds was their biggest fish. And I talked to Max on the Highliner. They were catching some fish in the daytime. There's some daytime kite fishing going on as well as a few sinker fish being taken, and even fly line fish being taken up there near San Clemente Island, out there near San Nicolas Island. That's where this big fish is hanging out right now to give you a geographical idea of what landing you could conceivably leave from and be in range. There's pretty much everybody right now. Everybody can get in on that. That's why we're so blessed here in SoCal. Back to the Highliner and Max. They picked some fish, and then at night they had pretty darn good fishing. They were pushing 30 bluefin tuna the last time I talked to them, and just about every one of those fish was over 100 pounds, up to about a buck 80. That is some really good nighttime fishing. And the moon phase is changing right now to the point where I think this is going to get better and better and better. If this weather comes down and it's a little bit easier to work, man, it's going to really get good. It looks like it's on the upswing. We're on that big fish again. It's great to see you 100 pound spectra, 200 pound bite leader, and you want to have jigs that those 350 grams have been working really, really well here lately. The Daiwa SK lure is a good one. Um, also West Coast jiggers, the HD lure is a good one. There's several jigs that'll work. And some guys will tell you, hey, anything works as long as you listen to the captain when he tells you to drop, you drop, and you go to the depth that he is telling you to. If you're a novice angler, or you haven't done this that much, or you don't know exactly what to do, talk to a crew member. They're there to help you. And please, don't be ashamed. Everybody starts learning in this game at some point in time. They will really help you. Several other boats had good scores last night. Upswing on the big blue fish, Jenna, and that certainly is great news. Now, Boats out of San Diego are going south and starting to see some fish move up into the LA Orange County area on kelp. It's not a lot. Most of this fish is still south. You've got to find the right kelp to make it happen. You're looking for kelp patties. You find one, it's dry. You find one, it's got a few fish on it, it doesn't want to bite. You find one and it's wide open yellowtail. And that's what you're looking for. It's a numbers game. The more kelps you find, the more of a chance you have to make a score. Some guys get them, some guys don't. Some days they bite, some days they don't. There's a little bit of bluefin, or actually quite a bit of bluefin mixed up with it. Not necessarily on the kelps, there's just breezers. You know, fish on the surface that are breezing around. And you roll up on those and they can be wide open at times or they can be very, very finicky. That means you need 
to bury your tackle. And I would say 25 pound fluoro is absolutely mandatory. And then you want to have 30 and 40 pound fluoro also. Smaller um, hooks seem to be working best of all. So keep that in mind right now. The smaller circle hooks when you're offshore are really, really essential. Bring some big stuff also just in case. And even if you have heavier tackle than that 40 pound, you might want to bring it. However, most of this kelp fish is going to be 8 to 40 pounds. I'm talking about that bluefin can get up to 40. Most of those yellows are 8 to 20. Some 20 plus pounders on the kelps also. There's some good scores. There's some really bad scores. We'll keep our eyes on that for you very, very closely. I love what is going on with regard to this bite. Now, San Diego full day boats. Those are boats that leave in the morning and come back that very same afternoon. Those guys have had one day great fishing and the next day not so great fishing. That has been the nature of the beast in this bite here recently. Some days are just phenomenal where you see wide open fishing, but yesterday was a tough day for the boys, no question about it. The Grande fishing offshore had one yellowtail, one Dorado, the San Diego had five yellowtail, the Liberty had three yellowtail. That is not to say that these guys are not working their fingers to the bone. They probably work harder on days like when you scratch just a few fish than when it's wide open. Finding that right kelp patty, finding those fish that want to really bite are essential to your success. And the guys work hard at that every single day. But yesterday was a tough day for offshore full day fishing. Make sure you have that same tackle. Yeah, I would even suggest some 20 pound floral carbon just in case the fish are really finicky. You're walking that fine line. Don't forget this. You got to get a bite to catch a fish. Obviously, you want to hook that fish on the heaviest line you can possibly hook them on. But sometimes they just won't bite heavy and you're going to have to drop down. And of course, taking your time at the bait tank, choosing a really good hot bait and presenting that to the fish in a great way. Man, I'll tell you, that will get you bit more often than not. So that is the situation. Now, what do I think the full day boats are going to do today? Probably be wide open. I mean, that's the definition of inconsistency. One day they're wide open, uh, one day not so much. Tax problems? Call Tim Marquez at A Best Income Tax. Tim will take great care of your needs. And if you have heating or air conditioning needs, give our friend John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning a call today. All right, so that's the San Diego and also L.A. Orange County bluefin tuna kelp patty situation. I like what is going on. All right, let's talk islands. And man, the Mission Bell, what a tear they're on this year. Out of Point Loma sword fishing, they have had so many great days at the Coronado Islands. I'm thinking to myself, and maybe I should defer to some of the guys like Fred Uber and other guys down there in San Diego. This has got to be the best year at the Coronado Islands I have seen in decades. Man, it's a throwback to when I was a kid and we'd go to the islands and just like, you know, every day, 100 plus on the yellows and catch a bunch of other species along with it. It's been that kind of a year. Mission Bell with another huge day. 134 yellowtail yesterday, most of it on the bait fly line sardine. 25 pound on days like that. They're biting the 40 pound mint green jig. Surface irons working great. But to be honest with you, they're biting every single color you throw at them. Pretty much the blue and whites were getting bit. I bet if you took a jig and just spray painted it with a bunch of stuff and it's a jig that swims really well, you probably get bit in a bite like that. It is phenomenal at the Coronado Islands. You need a passport to fish there, but it is well worth it now to get on a boat. I highly recommend if you can do it to get on a rig on the weekdays because man that place is a mess actually already a mess here this morning i've talked to some guys the weekend starts on friday you can get on there monday through thursday i think you have a much better chance but they've been cranking good numbers on the weekends also excellent fishing going on san clemente island up and down so one day you get them one day you don't i guess that's just fishing in general isn't it but out there at sci they still have squid around town dropper loop fishing in the early morning hours the anchor goes down you're up and you are fishing because they get flashed in the dark quite a few times over there at SEI. The Thunderbird has been a perfect case in point here recently. We've seen them have a very slow day followed up by a wide open day. So we've seen that mix in terms of fish as my friend Valentino goes by. Buenos dias, hermano. 
my good friend Valentino. So that has been the situation out there. Thunderbird, 20 yellowtail and a white sea bass on their last trip. Furies had some good trips. The Amigos had some great trips out in that neck of the woods. So once again, it's up and down. Now during the daytime, you're going to fly line sardines, still fish some squid, and you catch rockfish, and you catch calico bass, and you can also scratch out some more yellowtail. Seems like the big yellows up to 40 pounds are at night. And then around 7 a.m., that shuts off, and then daytime yellows are smaller. That's not always the case, but it seems to be what is happening right now. Catalina Island, woo! What a great trip on board. The El Patron out of Long Beach sport fishing. They are cranked up. They're catching good calico bass, but they had a great day on the yellowtail. We're seeing more and more yellows every single day. Remember, I told you, Coronado Island's biting, San Clemente Island, cats building toward a really good bite. Four nice yellowtail on the El Patron yesterday. Their big one, 38 pounds. That is some good fishing on that ultra-limited load vessel out of Long Beach for fishing. They also had some barracuda, bonita, calico bass, rockfish. That's been what's been going on at Cat here recently. You get that great variety, gorgeous weather, and a shot at the yellows on just about every single trip. Fly line bait, probably best of all. There's some surface iron yellows also in that variety of tackle that I've been talking about from light to heavier, up to 40 pounds, essential on these trips. Definitely want to be bringing that variety. El Patron runs out of Long Beach sport fishing, and they're going every single day, and they're doing a fantastic job. www.longbeachsportfishing.org. Get on the El Patron and have some fun. All right, we'll take you up to the Channel Islands where there continues to be some really good white sea bass hits at time. It's not every single time, but man, I'll tell you, the Endeavors had some good hits here recently, up to almost 50 on their last trip. We're also seeing some more yellowtail up in that region, and I'll get into the local bite and the island spirit and other guys here in just a moment, but really nice fishing going on. The gray light yesterday with seven white sea bass, um, that's a good hit for them. On board the gentleman, they had five halibut, nothing wrong with that. On the Aloha Spirit, they had a mix of different species on board. Their calicos and barracuda, and rockfish, sheephead fishing is really, really good up there. So I would characterize that Channel Island bite right now as explosive at times on the white sea bass and then also steady rock fish, some good bass fishing, some good barracuda fishing. I'll tell you, it's been pretty darn good up there in that neck of the woods, and it just seems to continue. 10% off when you go to promarahi.com, put in FA at checkout, and they'll knock an additional 10% off. Don't forget their new fluorocarbon GT4 fluorocarbon. You'll pay less money for more line and get a 10% discount by going to promarahi.com. F.A. at checkout. Let's talk about the local situation right now. Local boats, half, three-quarter day, guys. Not bad. Down in San Diego, we're starting to see even a few more exotics, it seems like, mixed up with the calico bass and the sand bass and the rockfish and the sculpin and that kind of stuff. The dolphin had a 38-pound halibut yesterday. The premier had a couple of white sea bass yesterday and some pretty darn good sand bass fishing to go along with that. So pretty good there. Up around Dana Wharf, they're picking at the bass. Good action. Returning a lot of fish that are short, but still some really good action. Up here in the San Pedro and Long Beach area for the half and three-quarter day, guys, the city of Long Beach had 205 calico bass yesterday on the city of Long Beach. That is as good a local bass score as you're ever going to hear. The victory had limits of sculpin and 71 calico bass. Monte Carlo has had some good sand bass and calico bass days. If they don't, they back it up with good sculpin and rockfish. That helps a lot out of 22nd Street landing in San Pedro up there in Marino del Rey and Redondo. At night, like tonight, I'm uh, assuming they're going to have some good twilight fishing. The calico and sand bass fishing at night has been very, very good. Excellent, as a matter of fact. So hopefully that's going to continue. During the daytime, a lot of rockfish in that neck of the woods. Up there in the Channel Islands, we see some good bass fishing. There's sand bass along the coastal regions and also out at the islands. Some good calico bass fishing, barracuda bonita wandering around. Some guys have really great scores and other guys are a little bit scratchier on the fish. On board the Island Spirit out of Ventura Sport Fishing, Daniel Hottaway 
is out every single day running open party trips. You're going to love the Island Spirit. They do a great job. Their customer service is way up here. And Daniel Hottaway goes to extreme measures to make sure you catch some fish and have a great day. They're running combo trips. So they're trying to get a sea bass or a halibut. They're trying to catch a yellowtail. They had them boiling around the boat the other day. It looked really, really good. And also, you've got the rockfish, which is fantastic up there to back it all up. So some pretty good local fishing going on up there. You can get on the island spirit by going to www.venturaswordfishing.com or give them a call and say hi to Saul for me, 805 676 three, four, seven, four. Some pretty good fishing going on up there in that neck of the woods. Big fish bait and tackle on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got all the bait you'll need to be successful in the Southern California surfing. There's some good fishing going on. My buddy, John Karma. John's a great guy. He just sent me a photo. Just caught this a moment ago. 25 inch halibut. You see the big fish bait and tackle ruler there. You go into Big Fish Bait and Tackle, buy that ruler or measuring tape, and um, you're in their monthly tournament. Every month it's a different fish. The biggest one gets a beautiful, brand new custom surf fishing rod. You're going to love it. The contest is free after you buy the ruler. Do it and have a lot of fun. Good yellowfin croaker fishing from the border on up. You know, those fish move around right here, right now. It's been very slow. So that Santa Monica Bay area has had a lot of yellowfin croaker, and there's been some good corvina fishing up and down the coast. Corvina just about everywhere now. In the short water, they're in a foot of water, two feet of water, sometimes three feet of water. They're in the shallows, foraging, trying to find sand crabs or mussels or something else to eat. So they're a lot of fun. You can sight fish those things. You'll see them swimming in the surf. Good corbina fishing in the SoCal surf right now. That is looking really, really good. Two great trips. Got a few openings. September, we've got a two-day trip out of San Diego on the Apollo. And then in October, we're on board the Amigo on a two-day trip. Those are going to be fantastic. I think the fall is going to be better than any other time of the year. Stay tuned for lots more. That's why you want to subscribe and tick that little bell and make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok as we put a lot of breaking news up there every single day. Thank you so much for joining us and Mia and Brody. What can I say? I mean, this is beautiful stuff here. Just absolutely beautiful. You kids are the best. I love you guys very, very, very much and can't thank you enough for thinking about me. That means so much to me, as does all of your love and support means so much to me. Have a great day. And where's my coffee cup? I hope to see you really, really soon. Take care, my friends.